to calculate the uh, the acceleration of a go kart, it involves the torque that the engine puts out. So we have the the driver of the engine, which puts out a certain amount of torque, and horsepower is related to torque by uh, see it's RPMs times torque divided by some constant K, and basically you solve for torque and pump it into this equation and that's torque. Okay, That's nice. Well, what happens is the chain is being pulled by this clutch driver which is exerting a certain amount of torque and this has a little radius on here. And so that is exerting a force on the chain. Well, the chain is yanking on the rear axle like this. Here's the rear axle and it's connected to the tire as it hits the ground here. So we can draw the tire in, dunk, 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 which is a little bit bigger, obviously. And then this is the rear uh, driver, chain driver. So this is an R gear drive, and this is an R uh, wheel. And this would be an R uh, sprocket. So then the relationship between all these is that the force is pulling on the chain here. So you're trying to figure out what the torque is. So you just do a balancing equation here. You have the uh, the force times the uh, RS equals torque. Okay, just put it as torque, and then the uh, force over here because the force is pulling as well right here. The force times the uh, RG equals the uh, force on the rear wheel. Force rear wheel equals force time on rear wheel times uh, RW. So what we have here is these two forces here which we can drop out and combine these two equations and we can solve for torque using these equations right here. Okay we just drew a, a kind of a complex set of system of equations so I wanted to redraw it so it's a little bit more clear basically you have a uh, force that's pulling on this chain and then the force is being pulled by the motor well, there's also a force that's being exerted by the tire on the road F road well this is in turn exerting it onto the go-kart and if you were to look at the go-kart as a big block looks like this it's being moved by a force which is the same force road here so if we can solve for this force here, then we can go back in and plug it into the equation force equals mass times acceleration. We can solve for acceleration by saying A equals um, F over M. And uh, since we already know what the force is going to be, then we can solve for the acceleration. Now, you may be saying, okay, so what if I find out what the acceleration is? Well, acceleration then, as we said before, will be you'll be able to tell what the time will be or how fast your go-kart will go over a certain distance. And we'll go over that in the next set of equations. Okay, uh, basic um, physics is that if you have a block and you want to move it in this general direction in an acceleration or a time period it's going to move a certain distance d and moving in a certain distance d it has a time period delta t well d or d equals one half a t squared and this is the same t I just wrote it in a smaller t so you already know what the distance is and you probably in some instances you might know what the time is but we are back calculating and we already know what the acceleration is because we figured that out through the force of the engine so this is related to our engine our engine torque so let's solve for t well how how quick is our go car going to go over a distance d well t equals 2d and let's see here 2d divided by a and be the square root of that 
so that would be the time that it would take it to go a certain distance d on our web page what we have is a computer program which basically asks you for some engineering data asks you for some engineering data about your drivetrain and your horsepower obviously it'll ask about the weight the total weight of the go-kart but it'll also ask you about the certain distance and we have it pre-programmed to be 200 feet so if you plug in all this data the weight the horsepower your gear sizes your tire sizes plug that stuff in and the distance 200 feet then it will come back and it will calculate a time a delta T and usually it comes back around eight seconds if you have like five horsepower what you can do is play around with the horsepower and play around with it and you'll see that the go-kart will start changing in speed now one of the questions people ask is well why you know if I put like a hundred horsepower in there how come it's still it only goes like 25 miles per hour at this top speed the reason why is that the gear ratio here only allows the, end, the wheel to turn so fast at so many RPMs. An engine will only spin so fast, is the bottom line. So what we have here is a one uh, gear system and the program will, will, pro, will calculate the time or the acceleration for one gear systems. Now there's another uh, there's another program in there which basically has you, you put in a go-kart and uh, you already know what the time is you've measured it and you know what the distance is too you've measured that as well Let's say it's 200 feet but you want to know how fast your how much horsepower your go-kart has that's the question this is a good measure or it's a dynameter program basically uh, all you have to put in there is the wheel size, the sprocket size, and the sprocket size on the engine and uh, it will calculate the horsepower for you directly from a delta T. That's all you got to plug in. 